In order for transcription to begin, RNA polymerase must bind to the DNA molecule at the promoter sequence. This is not possible if the DNA is so tightly wound that the promoter is not accessible. DNA can change how tightly it is wound. It can be found in the form of euchromatin, in which it is unwound and thus the promoter sequences are accessible and transcription may begin, or DNA may exist in the form of heterochromatin, in which it is so tightly wound that RNA polymerase cannot access these promoters and transcription cannot begin. And so one of the ways in which a gene's activity can be regulated is a cell can control whether the DNA is tightly wound in the form of heterochromatin or unwound and thus accessible in the form of euchromatin. In this animation, you can see that these three genes can all be transcribed by RNA polymerase, but only when they are in the loose, unwound form of euchromatin. When they are tightly wound in the form of heterochromatin, then no transcription occurs. Because a cell can change the packing of its DNA, the cell can then control each of these genes individually so that it may transcribe one or two or all three or any combination according to what is appropriate given the needs of the cell. So one of the ways that genes can be regulated is that their transcription can be controlled by whether or not the DNA is in the form of the tightly wound heterochromatin or the more loosely wound accessible euchromatin. Some sections of DNA are permanently wound tightly in the form of heterochromatin and no expression of genes occurs in these areas. Such areas are known as constitutive heterochromatin. Other areas may be converted into heterochromatin and may be converted into euchromatin depending on the needs of the cell. These areas are known as facultative heterochromatin.